Do you want to make nice PCBs at home, but you don't want to use a printer or a Sharpie? Then this laser engraver is the perfect solution for your problem, my friend. I designed and built this beauty for about 120 bucks. Let's take a look at how I built it. These are the parts we need. You can find the part list in the video description. First, I am starting with assembling the Sigma profiles. In this part, you will need 8 angle brackets. Make sure to leave a 2 cm length of space in all 4 corners of the frame. Now, I am assembling the feet for the engraver. I am doing the same thing for all four sides. Now I am assembling the two pulley holders for the pulleys. I am using two 3D printed pulley holders. These are the 8mm smooth rod holders we need. We require four of them. Now, I am assembling the stepper mounts to the stepper motors. After that, I am attaching the stepper mounts to the frame. The power supply I am using is 12 volts and 10 amps. I am also attaching the power supply to the frame with 3D printed parts. Now I am attaching my female power plug. It's important to note that this method is not the safest way to connect to the mains.
This part is gonna be the right side of the x-axis. Later, we are going to attach the belts in this long bolt. This is the left side, which is holding the x-axis stepper motor. This 3D printed part is gonna help us in the cable management. We are going to zip tie the stepper cable to it. This is the middle part, carrying the laser itself. This is my laser, I'm using a 4 watt laser with adjustable focus. These two bolts are where we are going to attach the belt. Now I am inserting the smooth rods. If your rods are too loose, you can use some glue. This is how it should look in the end. Now I am attaching my belts. I am also using some zip ties to hold the belts in place. I'm trying to make the belts as stiff as possible to avoid any step loss. This is how it should look like in the end. Now we are adding our CNC shield to the Arduino. I'm using two A4988 stepper drivers. This is the schematic and following. This yellow cable is gonna carry our PWM signal to adjust laser power. Other two is for powering the laser. I am zip tying some filament to the cable to make it more rigid, so it can hold up by itself. I am also attaching the stepper cable using the same technique. After connecting the last cable, I connected my Arduino to my computer. I am using laser gear GBS software, which is free to use. Before clicking connect, I go to tools section. As you can see, you can download the CH340 driver from here for the clone Arduino boards. Additionally, you can flash the RGBL firmware from this section too. After that, I click connect and then I click on the RGBL configuration. As you can see, these are my settings. Now, I am opening a random PNG file for testing. As you can see, when I click the blink button, the laser blinks. When I click the focus button, the laser turns on at low power, so you can adjust its focus by turning the tip of the laser.
Also, you can manually move your laser from here. Now, I am clicking the frame button, so it outlines the area that will be engraved. I am adjusting it to pass 4 times. Then I start the laser. I skipped a part of the video and as you can see it's done. This is a circuit example. As you can see, this is a 555 timer circuit. In this image, you can see the Atmega 328 chip in the middle. There's a grain of rice for size comparison. You see two different styles of engraving PCBs. Left one is named Vectorize and it's way faster. I wanna mention that my laser is not a perfect dot. It's more like a rectangle, so traces are thinner than they should be when the laser goes sideways. So that's it for this video guys, the left is up to your imagination. Take care and be kind to yourselves. See you in the next video.